Greetings and salutations fellow humanoids, tis I, once again, your friend Pagan, and welcome back to our Let's Play series of 7 Days to Die, Alpha 19 on Survivalist Difficulty, Episode 19. We're just heading towards the uh, large hotel or apartment building that we marked off uh, in one of our last episodes. I think it's going to make a big interesting loop run, so we're just going to start right at it, get right into the action, no use in dilly-dallying. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can find in this POI. Looks de decent. So it's the Ostrich Hotel. Let's start right here at the front gate. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I was... I had the foresight of bringing a few storage containers. So we're going to make use of that. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get at it, people. Ooh. Gonna be busy. Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe we're gonna camp here overnight. Set down some boxes. Drop off a few things, and let's get at it. This is going to be a lot of work. Oh, jeez. What did I get myself into? All right, well, might as well let the dogs out. Oh, it's unlocked now. Cool. Mm, that reminds me. I think I wanted to switch out my club for my knife here. Now the knife doesn't do as much uh, damage as the club, but it does have the added benefit of bleeding. Yeah, I think I'll try knife and spear for a little bit. Switch it up. Club's getting a little bit old on me. Kitchen, all right. Not a cooking pot, so we actually need those. Some recipes. <laughs> oh wow, the super corn recipe. Super corn is actually great for making uh, your own glue. It's essentially a way to uh, get a large supply of duct tape going through glue. It's uh, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Lucky fine on our side. Well, we are a lucky looter after all. Uh-huh. What's going on here? Oop. Thought that guy was on the other side of the wall. Tight fit. Some cute pants. Ooh. I think we already have a bandolier on our chest piece, do we? Yes, we do. All right, so that ain't worth that much, sadly. Because we can't stack them or anything. Oh, another one, eh? Level 4 AK. Ooh, this can be worth a pretty penny. That's for sure. Let's scrap a few things to clear our pockets. And uh, since we're in an apartment building, we might as well pick up the potted plants. It's going to be an easy source of clay. All right, let's head back. Try not to lose an eye walking through here. 
you know, it kind of bugs me that there's a nothing overhead here. I wonder if there's something hidden behind this. Nope. Well, might as well be safe. Over sorry. Let's see. Uh, so yeah, ovens don't give really that much interesting resources. So let's not bother with it. Now, is this balcony isolated? Yes, it is. Seems there isn't much going on here, though. Except an annoying tree. Good thing we brought our pickaxe. Makes it easy going through these metal doors. Early game with a uh, stone axe it would be a bit of a pain. Yikes. Pick up these so we don't forget. Hmm. Zombie was kind enough to open the door for us. All right. Cool. Bit of duct tape. Squish. So what I call a close encounter. All right, this leads outside right here. Cool. Set back up here, drop, drop off some stuff and head back at it. I wonder if there are any vending machines in this POI. We have a, a few coins in our pocket, which uh, would enable us to buy anything interesting. Some tasty drinks here. Nice. Place looks like a prison cell. Jeez. Now are we just on the other side of this? Uh does this loop around? I think it does. Yeah, okay. No point going through that. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna start looting on this side. Really? Mm-hmm. Another duster. That's worth a little bit of cash. All right. And uh oh, it's another kitchen area. Cool. My cat is uh, booping her head against the microphone. Once again, when you see a door like that, don't bother if there's a uh, wooden wall right beside it. Just chop through that instead, and you'll save yourself a lot of hassle. Ooh, nice. All right. A lot of good foodstuffs here. Gifts. All right, now I think we're done with this floor. All right, and let's just uh, drop off some stuff real quick. And get back at it pronto. Try and loot as much as possible in the same day. Oh. 
Somebody mad. <laughs> There's a spider zombie that's not happy with me right now. Still haven't found a half decent fire axe, which is funny. Where's that damn spider zombie? He's really starting to annoy me. Eh, whatever. I guess we'll just have to put up with him for now. Level 4 wrench, pretty cool. That'll sell for a bunch. Even if they are redundant, finding some half-decent level uh, tools means a uh, decent amount of cash out of them. Hmm. This bed's always good to take apart with a wrench. Gets more resources than you would think. Ooh. Three skill points. I wanted to discuss um, branching out into a new skill tree. Ability tree, excuse me. Now that we have... a. Uh, the uh, perception one just about where we want it there won't be too many more perks we're going to be investing into in the perception tree so maybe it's time to branch out i was thinking maybe agility or intelligence these there's just zeds all around us smashing our walls there's one there you are Shut up now. Ah, <sighs> now I can hear myself think. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, so investing into uh, another skill tree. Now, uh, agility would be good strictly for combat reasons, like light armor and run and gun, parkour, just jumping and running and stuff, and uh, also gives good abilities with the uh, handgun and uh, some machine gun. And also uh, makes us better with the knife. Archery we will avoid. And the intelligence would give us better bartering and rewards, which is something very enticing to me. Uh, however, if we invest into the intelligence tree, we will not be getting everything out of it. I mean, eventually, maybe we can make our way to uh, the gyrocopter, but that would be like very high level. Um, I don't know. I have to think about it. I think I'll, I think I'll just hold on to my points until next episode and think about it. Uh, you, how about you all let me know in the comments what you think I should go for in terms of, uh, next ability. I could also go strength for harvesting, but, uh, I don't feel like we need that many resources in our single player run. You... Those that are a little bit more familiar with the game will know that, like, uh, at least in this playthrough, I'm not building too much and I'm a little bit more self-sufficient, you know, looting what I need more than anything else. So yeah, let me know what uh, ability tree you think I should invest in. I love how you shoot with the shotgun and it not only kills the zombie but destroys the block they're standing on. Savage. Hmm. 
Okay, so we are already here. Kind of lost track of uh, which apartments we were looting because of the circular build of the place. Yikes. All right, let's do a quick spin, see if we got everything here. Well, I guess not, we didn't do this side. Can't even see the glass. Doesn't seem to be anything here. All right, so we'll be moving up another level. Uh, actually, quick way down. Don't do this at home, people. Definitely don't do this at home. Yeah. There we go. Quick way down. Let's eat a little snack. Drink a little bit of the tea. And get right back at it. Time to be efficient. Hello. Clearing your rooms. So it seems to be the same model just over and over again. So it might be a little bit redundant as a loot run. Hopefully we'll run into something extra good though around the top. Don't even have a rock on my oh damn it um all right i need a rock like one rock that's wood that's wood how about here there we go one rock where are all the zombies at As a lucky looter, we open containers so quick now. So just pressing E, bam, you're done looting. Press R, pick up everything. Basically, you're just sucking up all loot like if you're Kirby or something.
Mm. Could only afford half of the TV. Sad. Quick spin around, I think we're done. Yup, yup, yup. Drop off some more stuff and get right back at it. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be heading back home just yet. The sun is quickly setting. Uh, I think we will, I think I'll try, we'll be trying our hand at staying overnight is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Let's not be too cautious here. That would be boring. Being cautious is so lame, man. All right, next floor. How many more do we have anyway? Uh, we're actually going through this POI pretty darn quick. Shut up. Excuse me, was that mean? Let's fight. That zombie's under me, I hear. Huh. Really having trouble zeroing in on zombies in this uh, POI. Too many uh, twists and turns. Yeah, they'll find me eventually. They'll be a little bit annoying in the meantime, though. Nothing hidden behind the painting. Nothing really worthwhile on those balconies. I wonder if uh, the time I won't look is when there's a crate or a bag on it. This one I already looted, right? No, I did not. Uh. Uh, pumpkin recipe, sure, whatever. In an hour, the zombies downstairs are going to start running. Hmm. Man, some of them sound so darn close, but they're not even there. Okay, empty, empty. So I went around. Did I get everything on this level? Oh, were they above me? Now this is where I was. Hmm. Or are they all in this apartment or something? I always take the easy way through. Shepherd's Pie recipe. Nice. That's some uh, high tier food right there. Mm, chicken ration, seed it. Let's 
Let's keep on moving. <laughs> One decent idea would have been to set up some hay bales on the ground floor and just jump. Scary night music. So I looted this one. Nothing hidden behind the paintings. I wonder how old this POI is in terms of design, if it dates back to a pretty old alpha. I don't think I've ever been through it, at least not recently. So I'm not sure. Whoa, that's a bright light. Ugh. Avert your eyes, people. Oh, well, it being night adds a little bit of ambience. <laughs> Grandpa's learning elixir. Awesome. We're getting some good recipes in this place. So on my next runs though, I'll remember this place has a good place to find uh, acid under sinks and also a whole bunch of food recipes. forward to seeing the top of this place. Look at that! Steak and potato meal. Wow, I don't... I'm so glad I did not invest into a uh, Master Chef. Don't need a single recipe. Because we could find them all in good time. Look, even that, even the fabled baked potato recipe. It's actually like one of the lowest ones. I love how our character is pretty much useless in the kitchen without perks. This is slightly different. Everybody, I just made it a little bit more interesting coming here at night. <laughs> no scope. Let's reload all our guns.
Hmm. Looks like somebody camped out here until the end. Alright, nothing too special. Hey, can I put a reflex sight on my... Yes, I can. I can put a reflex sight on our pistol. <laughs> now, super tactical. Man, that was, uh, that was almost too easy. Hmm. Alright, let's head back down. Probably missed a little something here or there. I think we already looted this part. Yes, we did. Alright, I think that'll be it. Let's head back down, pick up all our loot, and get out of dodge. Uh, not... The, not my most thrilling loot run, but uh, if we look at uh, what we got in the greater scheme of things, not bad for how much we get uh, as per how much time we spend. So, yeah. Oops. All right, that's just about everything. Our pockets are full, our bike is full, so that building was just enough to fill ourselves with loot. Let's get back home. Yeah. Drive-by shooting, I guess. All right, we are back in our little shack. Now, I was thinking of uh, going through all our stuff together and uh, you watching me sort this loot for about 30 in-game minutes. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm going to do it between sessions. I'm not going to let you sit through that torture. So, yeah, uh, this is where I'm going to leave this episode. Thank you so much for joining. If you did like the video, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel and following us uh, for any future episodes and tuning in to the next one. So until then, take care and I'll see you around. Bye.